Hello everyone, I'm Nero from Cognicore AI. Today, I'll be sharing a notebook that downloads and uploads models from Hugging Face super fast, saving you a lot of time. I'll also provide custom one-click download scripts for popular models like Flux and WAM 2.1. First, I'll quickly install Comfy UI, then we'll move on to the model download and upload process. If you're looking for one-click install scripts for Comfy UI, check out my video via the I button. All right, Comfy UI is now installed, so let's dive into the model downloads. Next, upload the supercharged Hugging Face Upload Download Notebook file to your RunPod workspace. You can download this file for free from the description. Once it's uploaded, open it and you'll find the features and instructions right there. It's designed to be user-friendly, with prompts guiding you to enter the details you need. So there's no need to edit code or memorize commands. Now, let's break down what each cell does. The first cell installs all the required libraries. The second cell is for authenticating with Hugging Face using your access token, which you can find on your Hugging Face account. The third cell is for uploading large folders. If you have a folder with more than one file and want to upload them all, this is your go-to option. The fourth cell is for uploading a specific file. So if you have a folder with multiple files and want to upload just one, use this. The fifth cell is for downloading all the files from a Hugging Face repo. And finally, the sixth cell is for downloading a specific file from a Hugging Face repo. Let's start executing each cell one by one. First, run the first cell to install the required libraries. Once it finishes, you'll see a confirmation message. Then run the second cell to authenticate with your Hugging Face token. Grab it from your account, paste it here, and press enter. Once done, you'll see a confirmation and you won't need to run these cells again for this session. Now, let's try downloading a specific model or file. I'll run the sixth cell, and it prompts me to enter the repo name, even showing an example of what it should look like. Let's quickly find a repo. How about Comfy UI's WAN models? I'll click on the FB8 version, copy the repo name from the top, paste it into the prompt box, and hit enter. Next, it asks where to save the file. I'll go to the Comfy UI model directory. Copy the path to the Diffusion Models folder. And here's a key tip. Add a forward slash before pasting the path. Enter the folder path and press Enter. Then, it asks for the file name. You can download multiple files by separating them with commas, as shown in the example. I'll go back to the Hugging Face repo, copy a file name, paste it in the prompt box, and hit Enter. The download begins, and as you can see, it's pretty fast. Speeds depend on your pond's internet, so opt for a high or extreme tier for the best results. Once the file is downloaded, you'll see a confirmation message, and you can check the folder to confirm. Now, let's upload this file to a Hugging Face private repo using the single file upload cell. Well, and it prompts you to enter the repo name. I'll copy my private repo name, paste it here, and press enter. Then, it asks for the file path. Copy the path to this file, add a forward slash first, paste it, and hit enter. The upload starts and you can see the progress bar. It's super fast. Once complete, you'll get a confirmation message and you can check your repo to verify the file is uploaded. Next, let's download all the files from a Hugging Face repo. Run this cell and it prompts you to enter the repo name. I'll use this private repo, hit enter, and it asks where to store the files. I'll go to the models directory in Comfy UI, copy the path to the LoRa folder, add a forward slash at the beginning, paste it, and press enter. It starts downloading all the files super fast. And once done, you'll see a confirmation message. Check the folder to ensure all files are there. Now, let's use the large folder upload cell to upload all the files in the LoRa folder to a private repo. Run this cell, enter the repo name, hit enter, then add a forward slash, paste the LoRa folder path, and press enter. It processes all the files for upload, and you can see the progress. It's uploading super fast. Ignore any red text here and in other cells. It's normal. Once finished, you'll see a confirmation message, and you can check your repo to confirm the files are uploaded. That's how you can use this notebook to download and upload models from Hugging Face. Now, let's explore one-click downloads for Flux and WAN 2.1 models. Start by uploading the fluxmodels.py file to the workspace. 
You can find it in the description for free. Once uploaded, open a new terminal, paste the command from the description, and hit enter. It will start downloading all the Flux models. Look, it's getting the VAE Clip L Flux Dev and now T5XXL. The speed is super fast, and once done, you'll see a confirmation message with the download path. These files land in the Comfy UI Models folder, so you can check them and move them to the correct subfolders. Next, let's download the WAN image to video models. Upload the one i2v.py file from the description for free. Paste the command from the description and hit enter. It starts downloading models like Clip Vision H and Open Clip XLM Roberta. You can keep whichever you prefer. But wait, I got a warning about insufficient storage, so I'll stop it here. Make sure you have enough space next time. I'll include the one t 2 vpy file in the description for free, which downloads WAM text to video models super fast, along with the command to run it. You can use it the same way we did for Flux and WAM image to video. So, that's all for me today. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more one-click installer scripts and automatic solutions to save time and simplify your workflow. This is Nero, and I'll see you in the next one.